hey, hey, why do crabs not give to charity? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. I have to start off with laughter as medicine. But real talk, today we are talking about something very special. I need you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you are going to want to hear this full-length video. Today, our subject is seven reasons your relationship is dying. You are going to need this information, okay? I'm going to tell you the seven reasons, and then once again, I want you to hear this Number one, you're not having sex enough. Number two, not enough fun. Number three, not enough communication. Four, not enough companionship. Number five, because you wear warm-ups to bed and not lingerie. You have eased out God and you're giving too much attention to illicit affairs. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get right into what we are talking about this morning. This is Relationship 101, Dating and Relationships, and you need to hear this information because in today's day and time, we are facing an epidemic where relationships are simply not lasting. You can be celebrities, you can be the normal, average individual, but relationships are not lasting. I want you to check out my playlist on relationships and dating, okay? Okay. And then there is one in there, and it talks about why relationships are not lasting for the long run in this day and time. These are This is very important information. We need to understand what the problems are. If we understand what the problems are, then we can work on finding solutions. If I am ill, if I never go to the doctor and I never get a checkup, and I never see what's going on internally, what's wrong on the inside, how can the doctor make the proper prescription? So sometimes we need prescriptions. Sometimes we need to check up on our relationships. Sometimes we need prescriptions. Sometimes we need solutions. Sometimes we need a we need a cure, okay? So this is so very important, okay? So let's just hop right in, okay? So number one, and this is the cream of the crop. This is first and foremost, not having enough sex. There is something about oh, sex that binds us together. It is the tie that binds. Even in the scripture, the scripture says, do not deprive one another except for a time that you can give yourself to fasting and prayer. So God, for whatever reason, the way that he created us, the way that he made our bodies, our bodies need sex, our bodies want sex, our bodies crave sex. It is normal. If you crave sex you are a normal human being that's how god made you the body is created for marriage this is just this is just a fact even people who decide that i'm not going to get married you will see that they'll have different desires and many times it will lead to fornication and abnormal uh responses you know, uh, several sexual partners, uh, pedophiles, and things like this, because the body wants sex. The body is created for marriage. And in marriage, again, it is the tie that binds. It uh, creates a sense of uh, sensuality between the two individuals, um, c uh, companionship, it's enjoyable for each other, and there is a bond there, a God-given bond. So seven reasons your relationship is dying, you're not having enough sex. Get in that bed, fake it till you make it, have sex, try to have sex every day. It is healthy for a marriage. It is healthy for a relationship. So do it, do it, do it, and do it well. Like Nike says, just do it, okay? Just do it every day. I got a, a short in there, and it says have sex every day. It's just a fact. You got to have sex, okay? Have sex, have sex, have sex. And then sometimes, you know, it's going to be so good, you're going to be feeling your spouse, and you're going to be making love, making love. But whatever you need to do, you need to come together, uh, you need to cohabitate, okay? Seven reasons your relationship is dying. Number two, not enough fun. And I also have a video in there, never deny your man sex because you are disciplining him. It's other ways to discipline. Sometimes husband needs discipline, but denying him sex is not the way to go. 
Uh, so number two, seven reasons your relationship is dying, not enough fun. You got to have fun in your relationship. You have to keep dating. You have to keep laughing with each other. Find interests, things that you enjoy together, and you will find that your relationship will thrive and it will not die out. So have enough fun with one another. Uh, number three, not enough communication. You need to communicate. Uh, if he not having sex with you right, if he not touching you right, um, you need to tell him if he's too rough, you know, if he's not rough enough, open up your mouth, use your words and talk to your mate. Nobody can read your mind. That is so important. That's a rule of thumb for young relationships. Nobody can read your mind. When you got rocks in your jaws and it's something wrong and you had a bad day, nobody can read your mind. And the reality is, if you don't tell me what's going wrong, I have a, a right to think anything I, I, I want to think. And my imagination is going to run wild. Well, maybe it's something that I did. Maybe I put too much salt in the food. Maybe You got to communicate. You know, if uh, you didn't want the hamburger helper and you wanted chicken tacos, well, just say that. Don't be a nag, but communicate. Always be on the same page, okay? How can two walk together except they be agreed? So you need to open up your mouth, use your words, and you need to communicate. Again, talking about seven reasons your relationship is dying, okay? Number four, not enough companionship. You need to work together in a relationship. It takes two to tango. Two, the scripture even says two is better than one. You need a companion. You know, sometimes you need to come in there when she cooks dinner, you need to wash dishes. Sometimes if he washes the clothes, you need to come in there and help fold the clothes. If he gets out the vacuum and start cleaning up, go grab something and start dusting. This is companionship. You know, and it creates a bond in a relationship. It makes your relationship feel stronger. You feel like I'm with somebody. I'm cohabitating with someone. It's good to not only have a friend, a sister-like person, a mama-like person sometimes, but, you know, you need somebody that is there for you, that can help you when you fall, that can help you when you're weak. When you're weak, they can make you stronger. This is what makes relationships beautiful. So companionship with Think about with, together, hand in hand, helping each other, being there for each other. You know, again, when I'm sad, you can help me up, you know. You can give me advice. You can tell me about your day, and you can give me feedback. This is companionships, and this makes relationships thrive, okay? Again, talking about seven reasons your relationship is dying. Let's go on to number five. Because you wear warm-ups to bed and not lingerie. Baby, put some effort into it. Put some effort into how you look. Don't y'all see all this jewelry and um, makeup and lipstick and um, tattooed eyebrows? And I play with my hair all the time. I make sure I bathe. When I use the restroom, I, I clean myself up. I make sure that I'm always smelling good. Baby, don't don't wear warm-ups to bed. You need to put on something sexy. Don't wear no drawers to bed. You know, you got to put some fire in your marriage. If you don't put fire and gasoline and throw that gasoline and make it make them flames fly up, your relationship will die. Again, we are talking about seven reasons your relationship is dying. And we're being very authentic and open here. Okay? We have to talk about the things that matter. We have to really talk about the things that matter and make them a matter of importance. Okay? Relationships are important. They are the foundation of our community. And if there's anything that will destroy communities, that will destroy nations, it is the breakdown of the family. So we need to talk about it. And we need to provide cures. And we need to provide help that is needed okay number six you have eased out god okay god created marriage i'm just going to say that i know that there are people out there that don't believe in god but i do and i'll say this once again god created marriage he created you so he knows how it's going to work the scripture says unless the lord builds the house they that labor they labor in vain and build it so you got to keep god in the relationship when we are connected physically with sex mentally with companionship and then spiritually with god it makes it oh how beautiful okay and then uh number seven giving too much attention to illicit lovers and affairs lord have mercy baby if you dress and put on the lipstick for your husband maybe you'll get the same attention that you're getting from that illicit lover okay let's keep it real what I need you to do is I need you to like this video and I need you to subscribe and tell me ways in which you have created a thriving relationship in your marriage. I love you. Like I always say, peace and love. Let's keep it 100 and let's keep our relationships alive.